Hello and welcome back to another King Skyline tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Daisy Tools, the object builder, and creating a base building item for Daisy. So, what you're going to need is Daisy Tools with your game data extracted and your P drive dismounted. Okay. Uh, you're also going to need a 3D file that you can edit. So, going on to somewhere like turbo squid or cg trader or something like that where 3d files are you can find yourself some pretty pretty cheap ones or free in this case so this is the object we're working with today um this is just um, a sci-fi military box i've tested this it does work in daisy so this is how we're going to do it so you're going to need your fbx file and most likely a texture file that comes with it Okay, so the texture file will be the one that looks pretty good or somewhat roughly decent, not blue or anything like that. So this is our actual color object. So to get a PAA, you're going to want to open text view. Open up your PNG in it and save it as a dot PAA. And you can do the same for PAA to PNG to get a PNG from your PAA. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to open up our P drive again. We're going to start a new folder called mill box test. Okay. Create a data folder. We're going to create a P3D folder. And we're going to create a script. Scripts. Did I spell it right? S C R I C T S. Oh no. Scripts. Anyway, so we can copy the config that I'll provide into the root folder, and you would copy your PAA into the data folder. Okay, so that's that. This side is done. Now let's go and texture that item and give it some collision. So let's open the object builder. Yours is not going to look like mine. So just a quick tip is Alt and right mouse to do this, Alt and left mouse to do this, and zoom on your middle mouse. Okay. So these are the boxes that you're going to need open. I'll give you just a minute to get all these ticked. Okay. So now we're going to come over to file. We're going to go to import FBX. We're going to go and find our FBX file. So for me, it's in edits and mailbox. Make sure all these ticked and make sure all these are ticked. Now your master scale is the scale that your item is going to come into the object builder. So I know for this item it's a 0 0.003. Okay, just a small little object. So for this to get textured, so what you're going to do is highlight L with this art, this select objects, left mouse click, hold all the way over, press E. Come down to textures and click the file icon. Go into your millbox test. Go into your data. Make this CPAAs and select your PAA. So you can see what I've highlighted here. The backslash, the colons and the P. Just remove those so your texture can actually be seen in DAISY. If you do not remove these, you will not see your texture inside DAISY itself. So click apply. Now your item's textured. Okay, so now we need to sniff the collision and a firing collision and some little parameters. Okay, so we're going to come up to these double zeros here or these double double zeros. We're going to right click on that. We're going to click duplicate. We're going to right click on the one and we're going to click properties. Double click on geometry. 
highlight all, come down to mass and select 5.00. Okay. So now you should see a blue dot appear inside this box. Now to create an occlusion, there are easy ways. I will say there is an easy way of doing this, but it hasn't ever worked for me. Okay. Um, sometimes your item just isn't closed or sometimes it just doesn't work right. So this is what always works for me. So I go to Windows, I go to Four View, I zoom in on all four. Make sure they're all in the right position. And I deselect the box. So what I do is I go to Create and I go to Box. Now segments are how many segments so you can edit and the size is actually the size of it. So for me I just need all ones because this is all one box. Then I'm going to right click and drag that up here. Okay. So I'm going to make sure, and I can see it was selected there, but it, it gave me no mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to right, left click on this and highlight it again. Now I have the mass option. So 5.000. And if you watch the corner of these when I press apply, they come up with new boxes on each corner. That is now your collision model. Okay. So come up to your select vertices and just tidy this up a little bit. You can use anything to create what you need. So you've got the spheres, you've got circles, you've got boxes, you've got planes. Um, there's quite a lot to use. So take your time with this because this is, this is going to what really breaks your mod. I mean, if your collision is not right, it's not going to be liked. Okay, so now I have a box. And I'm going to go over to my select object. And I'm going to make sure just my little outside box is selected. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click new. Go to component 01. Okay. So now that is his own component. So if we click off of this box now. We can should be able to click on that and it should just highlight that box. So that's how we know our collision is starting to come together. So making we're sure we're on the geometry tab, we're going to go over to the properties. We're going to right click on the properties and we're going to type class. Now this class is what you will call, the game will call for your item to be. So for this it's more like a wooden box or a sea chest. I would say it's sea chest size, but it's more small like a wooden crate. So I'm going to go for a wooden crate. Now, over here, I'm going to come and make a new one and call it Auto Center with a value of zero. Now, I'm going to come along with another one and I'll call it Map with a value of building. Okay. Going back over to the Geometry tab, making sure that's definitely selected, I'm going to duplicate it again. Now, I'm going to give it a Fire Geometry. So I'm going to highlight it all, and I'm going to press E again. For getting the textures, I'm going to go straight to the materials and select the folder key. Now I'm going to navigate to my local disk P, DZ, data, data, penetration. And now these are some sound RV maps. So I want my item to sound like metal when it's shot at. You can select plastic, you can select uh, metal, you can select rubber. But for me, we're just going to use the metal plate. And as we did last time, we're going to take out that backslash, the colon and the P. Hit apply and hit OK. <coughs> Sorry about that. Going back, double clicking on our geometry tab. We'll duplicate that. We'll properties. And we'll go to view geometry. Okay, so now this has a geometry, a view geometry, a fire, and the actual item that you see in DayZ, which is textured. So now we're done with the object builder. So we're going to save this in our millbox test in our P3D, and we're going to call it millbox1. Okay, so now we can close this. And now we can go 
back to our mill box test. We'll go to scripts. New folder and we'll go to four. Underscore. Well. Now I'll provide this file. But you can make your own. So I'm going to call mine scripted class. Dot. C. Now here. I'm going to type. Class, uh, enter. Class. Land. Underscore. Mill. Box. Box underscore test dot dot base wooden right underneath. I'm going to go with these. And I'm going to save this. So if you used to create a new one, you would copy this a new line and change this so this is the class name of what you're going to call your item in day z so if someone was to spawn your item this would what be they typing in so we're going to take this because we're going to need this in the config file so we'll open our config with notepad so here this class here is what your folder name is called. So we called ours Millbox Test. So ours will be Millbox Test. If yours is Metal Box Test, you would have yours as Metal Box Test. Okay. So keep that pasted because you're going to need it here. In your DIR, you can give your modern name. You can give your mod the author and you can give the mod your Steam ID. Now your version for a test, we're going to go 0 0.1. We're going to leave this here. This would also be these three here. Will also be your mod folder's name. So make sure you change these to meet your mod folder name. Okay. You can leave these here. You can add another one. So wooden crate, you would put bear color base so if you was creating an item to replicate a bear or reskinning a bear so for here this is what i said we was going to copy from the script class so we're going to paste the script class in from there so when we call our item in the game it's going to say land underscore millbox underscore test we're calling it as a wooden crate as we did in the object builder Display name is Millbox Test, and we'll at the end of that put a DH for Devil's House. Description short at the end of that, I'm going to put a DH for Devil's House for the sake of this video. Scope we'll leave it to, and the model you need to redirect that as your folder name to your 33D to your P3D name. Okay. So you can find that by going in your P3D folder, looking here, what your that file address is, and what your file is called. Weight, we'll leave it 250. Force bubble file large, true. Physical item layer large. And the item size is the item size that it will take up in your inventory. So that will take up 50 slots. 10 slots wide by five slots down. Item cargo size is exactly the same, but is the cargo size of the inventory. So the box is going to have 150 slots, with 10 slots wide and 15 slots down. If you was to create a new one, or you want two items in one config, you would copy this here, the class, down to the second semicolon, and paste it in, and change the class name. And the model name if needed back out of this we'll make sure this is saved 
and we'll go and pack our mod. I'm not going to explain how to do that today. I will make a video very soon. I'm gonna make my uh, my my mod here. Ah, no, no. Box test, and then inside that, I'll make another one called add-ons. And this is where I'm gonna place this BBA. So now that's packed. This should be ready for the use of actually going into Daisy. So we'll go over to mods and we'll load this mod now. Load this P, mailbox test. There we go. There we are. Let's hit play. I'm not. I'm not going to explain how to open Daisy Community Offline mode. Not today. Maybe in another video, but not today. We'll just wait for Daisy itself to open. I will say though, no matter how fast your computer is, Daisy takes a very long time. <laughs> very long time. So, nearly there. Going into the game, we're going to spawn this box. Oh, look, and perfect. We're right next to a road. Not my usual place of business, but this will do. So we'll go mill box. And as you can see, it is what we called it. And you get a little preview here. So that's the box. That's its skin. We can spawn that on the ground here. As you can see, when we look over it, it's called mill box test. DH. It's got 150 slots. It takes up 50 slots. And it says mill box test by King Skyline DH in description. We spawned it in badly damaged. We can pick it up. We can place it down and rotate it. We can't walk through it. We can jump on top of it. And we should also be able to shoot at it. Yep, there we go. I see the rip show off that. I can also hear that. Now the box is ruined. So that's how to make a model and a texture and import it into Daisy as a base building object. Hope this video was informative, guys. The mod file for this and the FBX and the texture file and the config file and the script class I will put into a folder that will be in a RAR file ready for you to open and test with. Thank you.